few months ago, I had an idea to start a shrimp colony in a jar. I found a perfect space on the side of my desk. And I was super surprised at how successful this project actually was. I started off with this 4 litre jar that I got from my local home supply store. I filled the bottom of the jar with a base layer of lava rock. These rocks will actually help to filter our little ecosystem. Next, I added some nutrients for the plants. I then added a top layer of sand over the lava rock and fertilizer. While the jar was still empty, I went ahead and added some plants. Hopefully, they'll dig their roots through the sand into the lava rock. These plants will also play a vital role in turning our jar into an ecosystem. After this, I added some minor details and it was time to fill the jar. And just like that, our little ecosystem was all ready to go. It was now time to add our very first inhabitants. For this jar, I decided to add a pair of snowball shrimp. Meet Ellie and Theo. You can see Ellie is already buried and carrying a clutch of eggs behind her pleopods. I went ahead and introduced them to the jar. At first, they were confused and didn't know what to think. The jar is so different to the last tank they were in. They eventually settled down and found a few hiding spots, and later found each other again, which is when their true companionship showed. They didn't leave each other's side for the rest of the day. A week later, I came back to the jar to see how it was going. It has exploded with life, and there is tons of little critters that have made their way in here. They must have come in on the plants. I saw some little flatworms moving around on the glass. At first, I thought they were planaria which could be harmful to our little pair of shrimp. But at closer inspection, they appear to be Rhabdicola, which are thankfully harmless. I also spotted a few baby snails. They will also help to break down waste in the jar. All of a sudden, I spotted what looked to be a dead shrimp. But luckily, this is an exoskeleton, so one of the shrimp must have molted during the week. Then I found Theo. These little shrimp are so good at hiding. And not too far away is his companion, Ellie. She appears to have far less eggs in her pleopods. Perhaps she dropped a few from the stress of moving tanks. It's good to see that they are both still doing well. It's now been another month since we looked at the jar, and you can see the water level has significantly dropped. 
but both of our shrimp are still doing really well. And I haven't even fed them once. And somehow, through the magic of Mother Nature, it's exploding with life. There are so many snails now. I also managed to find some other tiny creatures in here. All doing their little job in this tiny ecosystem. I found Ellie, and it seems that she doesn't have any eggs in her pleopods. I wonder where they went. All of a sudden, hidden underneath some plants, I found a baby shrimp. I couldn't believe it. And amazingly, he wasn't the only one in here. I managed to find four baby shrimp. And I think it's safe to say that this project was a success. For the first time in the ecosystem's existence, I decided to top up the water. I think I'll leave things here and update you guys again in a few months time.